Some breaking news during the break. Who could have seen this one coming? Breaking What's the breaking news? news? Breaking news. Offensive coordinator Ken Dorsey has been fired. Uh, apparently the guys, the higher-ups, have been listening to the pod and used a judgment call and got him out of the building. I mean, I, so here's the thing. I, I'm Listen, I'm never having somebody lose their job. Uh, so I'm not gloating about that. I'm not. I'm not. No, no, no. I'm being very sincere here. It, it, having one of the worst things about having a public facing job is the world finds out moments after you find out you've been let go. It'll happen to me one day. You know what I mean? Like people are like, ah, your show got canceled. Like, you know what I mean? So I, I've, I've legitimate, like, I'm not reveling in that in any degree because I don't think he's a bad guy. It, my satisfaction in the moment is coming from the fact that sometimes for, there, there are certain things that folks try to act like are meaningless, but I think deep down they know are meaningful. And I'm going to go back to that freak out in the booth. That was a meaningful moment. That was a meaningful, hmm, put a pin in that and remember it moment. And it, to me, was indicative of a team and a culture that is unable to stay even keeled. And two weeks ago, when the Bills were, you know, on teetering on the brink, when all of a sudden you hear Josh Allen talking about, you know, I want to, I don't want to get too high, but I don't want to get too low. I'm trying to stay low positive. Like it's a team that is not, does not have its day-to-day -day emotions in check. Now, I do think it's fair to ask this question. Um, if, if they don't have 12 men on the field on the field goal, is Ken Dorsey fired this morning? Probably not. And that's not his fault. Yeah. Sure, that's, that's, that's on the, the special teams coordinator. coordinator right? Oh, yes. Yeah, but teams, it's, right. but it's really on the head coach. I mean, that's, you know what I mean? That's actually on the head coach. And so, you know, is there a little bit of ass covering by Sean McDermott here? Maybe. But you can't have Josh Allen once again being a turnover machine. And I do think there are folks that are saying, man, the one time in his career where it looked like he had the turnovers in check, Brian Dable was here. But before and after that, he didn't. You look confused about something. Go ahead. Yeah, I was like, for any fans that might be wondering, maybe it's a stupid question, but how does an extra ban even end up being on the field? Someone, like, is so, that like the... So it's very so it's this regard. Your field goal block defense and your regular defense, some guys are on both units. So there's certain guys that come on for field goal and go off, and someone who was supposed to go off thought they were supposed to stay on. That's how it happens. You know what I mean? So just you had you had seven come on and only six come off, and that's what happened. And well, uh, the pro the problem is this. It was, yes, it was a rushed operation because the Broncos did something incredibly somewhat audacious, which is run a play, have the clock run, and then kind of do a fire drill thing there. But the Bills had taken two timeouts in the plays leading up to that. So you knew this drive, they were taking knees and the Bills were taking timeouts. Knee, Bills, timeout. You knew it was ending in a field goal. You would think a well-coached team would be very buttoned up on who's on and who's off the field. But Ken Dorsey out as the coordinator for the Buffalo Bills. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts or just click the link in the description below.